So here, here we are in Depths of Rashigar, I believe the level is called. I am currently not in Depths of Rashigar because I died. Right, and specifically you died... To the fan in the mines, because I forgot that the fan in the mines kills you. And I didn't have a save handy, because I'm an overconfident prick. Uh, also, all of the footage on my end was unusable, so, so you got to keep coming to reckon for that unreal goodness. Right, so the permadeath Just go run. ahead and throw up, yeah, just throw up like an annotation, you know, scales the incompetent one. <laughs> there he is. Where'd the Nolly go? Oh, you uh, know, he's around. He was right here. Uh oh. Oh no, the ele elevator left without me. So it has been. Uh, th this is actually our second recording session. Yes. Because the other yes, uh, previous three videos were done in one go. They sure were. Uh, why did that just close? No! Oh god, this elevator's trapped me! <laughs> the Nexus has trapped me, reckon. Oh, that... that darn Nexus. Always... trapping ya. Well, I went to all that the effort to save go, the Nolly, but he just disappeared, so... What an ungrateful guy. I know. Oh god, I think I broke the elevator. So I... suppose... Oh, that works. The elevator's not <laughs> going, reckon now. Exercise caution when in the vicinity, vicinity of Teridium Barrels. Uh, a lesson well demonstrated. Uh, well, let's see what this does. I wish I had that on video, because that was some comical shit. Uh, right, that's... You, you're also unable to record because... Well, for some, some reason, whenever I record, the uh, the game decides it wants to record the menu screen and not the game that is running behind it. I'm not sure why it does this. Anyone want to fill me in on that one, feel free. Yeah, so kind of kind of just a an ongoing comedy of errors, I suppose. For me, yes, absolutely. I'm sure I will figure this out at some point. I really need uh, to stop hitting in, R to reload. We're in some misty Damn you modern video game design. Basements. I'm a victim of of muscle memory, reckon. A uh, scar coming out of the volumetric fog. Oh, volumetric fog! Far out, future traveler, and your funky space technology. Righteous, brother. Do these uh, rocket shooting fellas have a name? Yes, they are brutes. Ah, well, the, the they, these brutes, they are, they hurt, they hurt a lot. Skeleton Man is not a fan of the brutes. Hmm. All right, we're gonna see something interesting about this game. We haven't already. It's gonna be something uh, else interesting. 
There are many interesting things about this game then, I suppose. There are a lot of interesting things about this game. Like that. I think Hello. I missed the shield belt. No, I just picked one up actually, so. Where the hell was the first shield belt? It was in a box. I've shot all the boxes. Uh, no, it's in a box in the uh, area where you first fight a scar. Oh. Oh, I suppose he really was. I thought dead. that was in the mines though. It is. Alright then. So, I'm not gonna spoil it, I guess we'll just have to wait until it happens, but I am gonna start looking out for it, because it's, uh... Quite an interesting little mechanic. This is nothing else for us to care about here. Let's see what this is all about. Gas Rerouting Station. Gotta reroute that gas. So the uh... I have no idea how to quick save and quick load. I'm just gonna have to s save the old-fashioned way. It is true. Oh, hello. That poor scar was just locked inside a closet. Really, we did him a favor. <laughs> you ran into R. Kelly in space. Who am I fucking kidding? Anyone who sees this video isn't even going to know what I'm referencing there. They're probably going to think I'm referencing South Park. Well, I sure don't know what that reference is. So that was... He that had was... a song called Locked in the Closet. Come on! Alright, well, we're carrying over this outrage from the previous episode because I just did, in fact, pass the level. Uh, Rashigar Depths is actually very short, it seems. So, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just roll this into one. Because here we are back outside. And it is a pretty location. That's what I was talking about earlier, the, the game will close in very briefly and then open up again in splendid fashion here too you, you, this underground steel and stone facility then you, you walk out there's some narrow bluffs and then bam you're back out in the open not quite as large as Nileves Falls but the game does like to keep you out in the open though it does and there will be areas as large as Nileves Falls again. There sure will! Entire... Some of my favorite areas in the game are actually significantly smaller, though. Yeah, it's, it's definitely... It really knows how to balance its own little... things. So... I don't want to sneak up on this guy. I mean, I do, but... Just, again, watching the enemies... I mean, technically this is nothing more than just an idle stance, but... Still, like... It's not an enemy standing... Facing you, waiting for you to do something. Just so you know, I'm back... Back in the area where you first meet a Scar, and uh, you can totally see the scene where he pops out. Yeah, I, I don't doubt that. Again, it's uh, it is an so older if you, game. If you know what you're looking for, it's yeah. But the but thing like, is, like the first time you like play an animation this, style scene, I faced the wrong way again. Yeah, I think he might actually change between the two lo locations to just always surprise you. Nah, he uh, he was in the the same one when I had to reload. I'm gonna head to redo that area. 
okay. Well, then I'm... I'm just stupid. <laughs> Throw up so, the annotation, everyone. Laugh at Skell. Before I really progress, just want to point out... Again, we're back outside. There are these birds, those little hopping things. Um, so, a, a funny little thing about the, the game itself... You know, the, these are non-hostile wildlife, but if you go into the uh, the game's editor, basically, and look at these guys, there is actually no AI behavior that's, like, docile or, or non-hostile. These are set to be as angry with you as everything else. They just have no just attacks. They just you. They have, yeah. they have no, like, battle scripting, so they never go into combat. But they're, Which they're pissed is off. hilarious and awesome. It's a it's a really like good way to deal with the problem. Like, just you don't you don't have to code another AI behavior. You just don't give them the ability to act out the one they have. Well, it's also great because that like, I mean, it's never really implied in game, but you can say that like, you no, know, the wildlife is pissed off that you're there. They just can't do anything about it. <laughs> Here we have a first uh, significant underwater enemy, some sort of giant, large, large fish, at least. I really don't like underwater enemies in video games, so... It's scary. No, well, I guess so. So we are sneaking into this, this temple. Of course, this Nali temple area. Some bells you can hear there. Sounds of like crickets and wildlife. Just peaceful stuff. Oh, earthquake almost got me. Oh, those wacky Unreal devs trying to kill the player. Nope, please go back down there. So, how does the script actually work for, like, um, when earthquakes happen? Do they just add inputs to you, or, like, that what's I'm going not, on there? That I'm not actually sure about, because, uh, of course, I don't know if it's apparent in the, uh, in the recording, but mm. it, um, it does, like, shake you around a bit. It's does in quite a, a terrifying way yeah it, it will kill you if you're not careful I mean presumably even if you are careful well I mean it killed you it it didn't kill me uh, I never died to the earthquake you died to the lava I died to to falling off a uh, a platform that sunk into the lava. Oh, here we go. That's what I was looking for. Yep, this is the Chisra uh, Water Temple. Yes, yes, it is a water level, of course. Honestly, probably one of my least favorite levels in the game. I like but, it conceptually. You know. It's very pretty. Um, is that when is the temple? that's like really hard to get into is that the same temple mm, there are a couple temples in this game I, yeah because I remember that there's one particular temple where it's like the doors closed the walls too high to jump over and it's like a mission to try and get into the damn place well that sort of describes this one but you just have to go into an underwater cave and like mm. come out a little passage um, it might even be that one but like I remember when I first played this thinking, am I supposed to go this way? Did I get in the, did I get inside the temple the correct way or did I <laughs> sequence break? And I love it when that happens in video games. Yeah. So I want to talk about this little effect they did. It happened a little while ago in the recording now, but um it's it's kind of this fountain that opens up and spills water mm -hmm. into 
a, uh, a little pool, and then the water level rises. Very impressive stuff for 1998. How'd they do it? This is just a, um, a block, a solid rectangle, basically, with the same water texture applied to it that is basically extruded through here, and then another one is spawned going downward. And then you'll notice how the bottom of the pool is... Uh, it's uneven, it's curved a little bit, and it allows it going up here. So you saw when I was watching, the water rose from the little waterfall area here upwards. That's just another rectangle being pushed up through the ground, but because of the way the, the floor is sloped, it looked as if it was filling up from a specific point. Hmm. Which is damn clever. Uh, I mean, a... like, damn clever could summarize pretty much all of this game, but that yeah. is very clever. So here we have some cryptic hints to the, uh, the next puzzle. <laughs> 